you're fine. <laughs> show i know you guys have been waiting for this for quite a while myself as well it is lee priest daughter time welcome ali trapel and of course lee is back and uh i hear you uh won your show this past weekend yeah i sure did <laughs> not only did you win your uh, show yeah. you, you got pro status and then you competed in the pro show and you got third yeah phenomenal now, well, the question everyone wants to know, Ali, is do you get your genetics for competing from your dad or from your mom? To be honest, I think it's a good combination of both. Um, yeah, mum's always been in good shape and she's pretty small too. So between the two of them, I think I did pretty good on the genetic scale. That's all. How old are you now? 27. Oh, oh, so Lee, you had her when you were very young, huh? Uh, 19, going 20. Wow. I, I bet her dad hates you, right? I mean, her, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are her dad. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> so we have to, I have to wonder why, Dave. The last few shows we do, see, this is what I have to watch here, Ali. The last few shows okay. we've done, Dave's had that camera lower we could see under the table. Today we can't. Oh, you can't? Uh, maybe Tyler reset it. He'll, yeah. he'll change okay. it. There we go. <laughs> uh, you just got to make, sure make sure your hands are above the table there, Dave. <laughs> actually, actually, Tyler, after seeing his legs, put the fucking camera back up, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's very early there. These guys, you know, the Australian humor comes out very, very early. Now, it, um, Ali, you've already been to the gym today, so you're like Lee. You like to go really early, like around 4 in the morning, huh? Yeah, so I was training at night after work for quite some time, but um, yeah, I was just finding like by the time I'd finished work, and then depending on the kind of day at work, sometimes it was like oh, like I don't know, I just well, we're losing it. <laughs> Lee, don't you teach? Don't you teach your daughter how to get good Wi-Fi? <laughs> oh, so now I just get up. Get out of the way. And it's so much easier. And then it's funny to eat. Is it? Yeah, we're, we're having we're a little having trouble you. hearing you. Let me cut over oh, to Lee for a second. I don't, I don't, she doesn't get good signal where I keep her down in the basement. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, lighting's not, the lighting and the signal's not good in the basement, Dave. You know, I only let her go out to work. My, here's my question. My question is, did did your getting into competition, did your you know your desire to start working out and stuff like that, did was, was that from your parents or did that just come from yourself? Like you just said, hey, I want to do this. Um, I think it mainly came like from myself. Really, um, I used to be well. Two, I've only been training for two years now, um, as of this week, pretty much. So, um, I used to be active as a kid I was always involved in sports um but then as a teenager I picked up smoking cigarettes and pretty much didn't eat a lot um drank coffee and yeah um I was about 42 kilos um wow. that's nothing and then I quit smoking and decided I wanted to do something and change myself so I joined the gym within the first six months put on about 10 to 12 kilos um, and then decided I wanted to compete. So that was last year and competed within 10 months of starting training. Oh, so you guys got, you have good genetics. Now, did you reject working out because of your parents? Because a lot of times kids do the opposite of what their parents do because they just, they're rejecting almost. And then they wind up coming back to it because they realize, hey, I'm really good at this. I have good genetics for this. And then my body responds really well. Um, I wouldn't say I rejected it. I was, as I said, I was a gymnast for six, seven years as a kid. Right. I played netball. I was always involved in sports. So, um, the gym itself just didn't interest me growing up. Right. But it was like, oh yeah, I don't really want to just lift weights. But then as I got into it, I kind of, yeah, did discover I was quite good and could build muscle fairly quickly. And yeah, now it's a good stress relief and I enjoy going like, yeah, it's and, and, harder for and, me to take a rest day than not go. How, like how far did go. you go as a gymnast? What level did you go to? 
Uh, oh, not high. I quit when I was 11, so oh. I think I was like level four, okay. maybe. Gotcha. Now, Lee, did you and ever then, try to then, take her to then, the gym? And then, like most, she forgot to say that when she went to the gym, she discovered boys with abs. <laughs> now they just annoy me there. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, Ali? What did your friends say? They got to know that Lee is your father, right? I mean, I mean, what do people even like? Uh, what do they say to you? I mean, when when you hear that, you know. It depends. Like some people, are like, oh yeah, okay, cool. Um, others are like. Oh my god, I'm his biggest fan, blah 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 blah. And then like ask me a thousand one questions. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, if you want to know something, go ask him. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's got the same sense of humor usually. It's like it's like it's like when I get all the emails and they say, hook me up with your daughter. Can you? Can I date your daughter? I'm like, go ask her. Why are you asking me? It's like, God. Right, right, right. And I said, looking at your profile picture, I'll let you know now. She'll probably say no, but go and ask her anyway. <laughs> How, who's taller, Ali or Ali? Dad's taller. Really? Oh, so you're short then. Okay. That. Yeah, that's good. Short. <laughs> when you started working out, Ali, um, when did you realize that you had like you know good genetics for building muscle? I mean, you said you started responding really quickly. Was it, was it shocking to you? Not really. Like even when I was tiny, I've kind of always had um, like shoulders, like I always kind of had a little cap on my shoulders even yeah. when I was skinny as. Um, but yeah, I did kind of start noticing my body change, especially my upper body a lot quicker. Um, you know, my arms started filling out, my back started filling out. And yeah, I, I don't know, as soon as I kind of started seeing the changes in my body, I was like, cool, okay. Like I was always a bit self-conscious and not happy with my body. Um, so when I kind of discovered I could change it, it became addictive even more. Yeah. Who's got a better physique, Lee, Grandma or or Allie? Well, well <laughs> who, who my mom? Yeah, your mom, Grand Grandma. Well, my mom did bodybuilding. Allie does more sports model and uh, figure type, so it's two different physiques. Well, she's mom, just started out. I think, I think I think my mom's a little bit shorter than Allie again. So mom's more yeah. like a shorter female known version of me so you know <laughs> maybe maybe in a couple of years time Ali might switch over to the physique and bodybuilding type and then they'll say Lee's got his daughter on drugs <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone already accused me of taking Anavar on some other site so you know of course of course yeah. Would. <laughs> what yeah that's gonna be the next question what Ever, all the fans are going to be like, what, what's the cycle she's on? Of course. God forbid, like, she, she just works out and puts muscle on, you know. <laughs> no, you know, what, you're what, not allowed to do. What would you say if Ali wanted to use drugs? Would you give her advice? Oh, well, well look, she smoked and drank before, so what would be the difference? <laughs> when, 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 I, when I used to tell her stop smoking, she didn't listen, so what, what would be the difference, so, yeah. you know? Did you ever try to take it to the gym, Lee? A couple of times she come to the gym with me, yes, you know, but, you know, this hurts, I don't like that, That that's not nice, that's uncomfortable. And she ended up laying on the floor half the time. So, yeah. <laughs> that's what happens, though. Kids don't want to listen to their parents until they get older exactly. and then that's they why, realize you actually have wisdom, you know? That's why the first time she got ready for a show, I had my friend Steve help her and then this time her friend Morgan got her ready for the show because they're like, why aren't you doing your daughter's thing? I said... Because she's my daughter, they don't listen to their parents. No, and then no, she'll, not at all. You know, if Morgan or Steve tell, you know, if Morgan or Steve tell her to do something, she should follow them. If I tell you know, Ali eat this, I don't want to eat that. I'm not going to eat that. You know how kids are with their parents, so it's just best. Not to. What what kind of a diet did you follow for the show, uh, Ali? Um, so this year I pretty much wrote my own diet. Um, so Morgan is very macro based. Um, in terms of how we did my diet. Uh, uh, um, so oh, she kind of set my macros each. Um, I think we're well, losing you, Ali. We, we got to check this. Every couple of weeks, however, we did it. Uh, um, and then <laughs> I kind of diet. obviously she where sounds like Jason like Genova my stomach right didn't now. react well with a certain food I was eating <laughs> so I'd run it past her uh get some feedback on what foods I could change um yeah so 
Hello, my child's spot off my phone. Give me a second. Yeah, we, I think we lost it. We really did. Did you sound hear like, any of that? Sounded like, sound like I was talking to Lou Ferrigno for a minute. Uh, I thought I said Jason Genova, but you know, <laughs> maybe we get her back here again. What, what kind of a diet, Lee, do you know that she follows? Do you know? Is it like a lower carb? What kind of like? I'm not too sure because I just saw it. Not, every time I spoke to her, she was always hungry. So I guess it was just low, low on everything. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Would, but, um, um, do you see that? Do you feel that she's got the talent to go, you know, pretty far if she wanted to enter the IFBB at some point and, and compete, you know, at, at an elite level? Yeah, I think so, but <clears throat> I don't know if she wants to do that because you know, Ali, Ali, like a lot of um, unlike, I should say, unlike a lot of other girls out there who compete. You know, I'm not saying all, but Ali actually has a proper job and makes money. So really, <laughs> what do you do, Ali, for a living? So I work for um, council. I work in customer service. Okay. She gets all the complaints. There's a barking mm. dog. There's a noise. There's a car parked in the driveway. Yeah. Oh, so we should get her on Iron Rage. She can let she can let oh. go of all that frustration she hears on a daily basis. Oh yeah. I want that job, Dave. I want that job where people ring in and complain. I'm, I'm really good at customer. You would service just cur like curse them out. That's all. <laughs> you tell them to go fuck themselves, probably. <laughs> <laughs> So what's what's the uh, future hold for your competition plans? Are you are you done this year? Or are you going to compete next year? Do you you like it? You're going to keep doing it? I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, so yes, there are future plans. I was toying up with going to Mexico um, for Worlds. Oh wow! Um, but it's next weekend. Oh. So <laughs> to get the money organized and Daddy, just come on, fork over some cash, man. You're you're making good money now. <laughs> No, just I, just it, told, I just told her it's a bit soon. That's the thing. Like, it's only a week to go. You should have to get there by Monday or Tuesday right, just so right. you get your body ready and stuff. If it was two weeks, I said it would be a lot better. But one yeah. week, just to get it all organized in one week, get to Mexico by next Tuesday, then the show's on the weekend. It's like when they have a national titles in another country, you need at least two weeks for people that need to travel around the sure. world to get there sometimes. Yeah. So. Absolutely. So, yeah, there's, um, I think, Universe around May or June. Um, so I'll aim for that, I think, at this point. That should be cool. Now, Lee, would you, would you go actually watch the show, you think? Yeah, yeah, I would, yeah. It's like even, like, next week i got to go to a doctor's appointment and that if I wasn't going to that for the eye again and stuff, maybe we might have pushed Mexico and I would have went with us. So, but, yeah. yeah, next year with plenty of notice like that for the universe and that, I'd go, yes. I've actually just been asked by NABBA, Graham, the president, to start going to different countries and pushing Nabba again for him. So I'll probably start traveling the world again. Do you, do you, when you see her on stage or when you, when you see even just pictures of her competing, it, do you have a sense of like, you know, pride about your daughter? I mean, it, it, it's different when it's your kid, you know what I mean? What, do you feel like more joy for them than you do when you do it yourself? I mean, is, is, can, you, can you see it from the other's perspective now? Yeah, I feel proud and joy and stuff. But then also I think when I'm watching her, I'm thinking, Oh, the hell you had to go through to be up there. Because, you know, if you're just someone that's never done it, you just see the end product. So yeah. you're like, wow, she looks great, this and that. So I see that. But then I also, that enjoyment comes away because I'm thinking, oh, to look that way and do that, she had to go through all that hell of dieting and training right. and stuff like that. So yeah, you, you feel and see both sides of it. So, Ali, let me ask you a question because I know this is going to, the more you're in the sport, you're going to hear this more. I mean, obviously, Lee is a very, you know, outspoken, polarizing guy. You know, he's got huh? fans who love him. There's people that hate him. How do you deal with people like who might say, oh, your, uh, your dad's an ass or he's this and that or they don't like him? <laughs> like, what, how do you deal with like negative comments? Ali says, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. No, like. Oh. I mean, there's always going to be people that don't like my dad or don't like me or, you know, there's always assholes in the world and, frankly, like, you just deal with it. You know, it's there's always a bully at school. There's always a person that doesn't like you at school. There's yeah. always that person in the workplace. It's life. You just suck it up, deal with it. Um, yeah, I mean, everyone has, can be a bit or an asshole at times in their life and, you know, it's how you take it, I guess. Mm. Yeah, it, it, it's tough because you have to have thick skin, especially in the sport, because everyone is a critic of you. And I guess being the daughter of Lee Priest, obviously you're going to be judged way more harshly because 
that's just the way it goes because everyone knows who you are. I'm sure when you're up on that stage, they're like, that's Lee Priest's daughter, that's Lee Priest's daughter. So now it's like I got to establish my own identity and deal with all these idiots that are going to be say, having something to say about how I look. Meanwhile, you've only trained for two years. Most people don't even realize that. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now the, the, thing yeah. Is, the thing is we will see, the thing is when you say judge more harshly because she's Lee Priest's daughter. Yeah. We'll, we'll see if that happens when she does her IFBB debut. <laughs> That's right. When it makes her IFBB. <laughs> no, they'll, they'll oh, probably place her better yeah. just, to, just to mess with you. Exactly. You know? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have her win these shows just to piss yeah, him off. Yeah, just to piss Lee off. <laughs> <laughs> Does it bother you, Lee, knowing that there is a lot of politics, that there it is a very hard process, the rewards are very little compared to the amount of work you put into it. Because um, people always ask me, would you like to see your kids go into bodybuilding? And I always say no, but you know, if they wanted to do it, obviously I would, inc- you know, I would, I would help them. But you know, w- how do you view that whole, the whole competition thing? Well, well, you know, like I said, Alice is well balanced. She's got the gym life and her friends there and stuff. And she also has a job, but you know, she does it because she's enjoying it. She's not doing it because okay, she's Lee Priest's daughter and she's got to follow in my footsteps and do it for this reason. She's doing it because she loves to do it and she and, and she enjoys doing it. So, you know, you always encourage them if they enjoy doing it right. and stuff. But, you know, it's not like one of those things where, okay, the reward's not there because Ali's not doing it for that. And I've told her when you go into a show, because, you know, some of those divisions that women do, they always have so many different types of judging criteria. I've always told right. her, you know, just go in looking your best because so many girls try and go in how the judges want them to look. So... I'm, you know, as long as you go and look in your best, even with the yeah. politics, as long as you look your best, you can only do your best. I'm laughing because we're watching that video you sent me, by the way. Tyler <laughs> decided to put it up on the screen. Your your bikini debut, I call it. You like my... I was pretty good at it, wasn't I? Yeah, a little too good, I'm afraid. A little I taught, too good. I taught Ali how to pose like that. See, that's I was going to ask you that. I was going to say, <laughs> did you show her her moves? Give her her moves? Of course. Of course. I, I, need, I need to mention quickly, too, that... You know, the iron debate we had last time with Luke, and that was good, but people were like, Lee, why didn't you get stuck into them when they said, Lee, you only look good at free contests, you only come in shape three times. And the reason was it was a debate. It wasn't an argument about Lee Priest and his contest prep right. and shit like that. And when someone makes a silly comment like that, there's no point even commenting to it because it was just so silly. So, right. you know, it was, a, it was a good debate. It wasn't an argument. So, you know, majority of people enjoyed it. So, but, you know. Yeah, they want to come back on and debate Lee's contest history and what shows he was in shape and stuff. It's like I, I commented, majority shows I was in shape, but the guys I was up against were in shape and they were better bodybuilders in shape, so they beat me. That's why I didn't win. Simple right. as that. <laughs> right. You People don't realize you also gave up 40 pounds to most of the guys you were competing against back in those days. Mm-hmm. At least. I was even thinking, I was even, I was even talking, um, I mentioned that the Josh on one of the, Things. I said, look, you know, I'm getting to the point where, look, I love the 212. The 212 guys come in great condition. But I'm getting to the point now where, like, you know, it's almost had its day. Let's just go back to one class at the Olympia because I think if some of these guys, the smaller guys in the 212 start doing the open, that will push the bigger guys to get themselves in the shape again because right. some of these 212s will start beating them and they won't like that. So I think let's just go back at the big show like the Olympia and stuff. Let's just go back to one open class. Well, you know, you know why? I think there's not as many big mass monsters as there was back in the 90s and early 2000s. So now the, the shorter guys can almost do just as well. I think you, you got, you know, Kamal, uh, Kamal would probably do well. Flex Lewis next year will do well mm-hmm. in the open. Obviously, well, Bonnet, Hottie's Bonnet's doing well. Hottie's mm-hmm. doing great. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, uh, Bonac was a 212 guy who's now, you know, at the top of the world, placed in second at the Olympia. You know, I, I always wonder what would a Lee Priest at his best have done at the Olympia nowadays, you know, and of course, we'll never know, but it would have been interesting. I think you would have been top six easily, you know. Yeah. Also, too, um, Ali had a message from a person. I got a message from Ali. She goes, I saw your last RX show. I said, oh, let me guess. A guy, a guy sent you a message saying they're talking about you on the show, Ali. <laughs> Is that how we got her on the show? Yeah, I asked her to come on, but I think someone t- told her you were on the show talking about her sex life. You, I don't think you some talked guy, about did some, You, you some, didn't talk about her sex guys, life. <laughs> I think I just mentioned the phone call. I didn't talk about her sex life. Yeah, yeah, look, yeah, she's yeah. right here. Don't talk about her like that. That's no, right. For God's sake. <laughs> That's right. 
So I Ali, said, I said, I said, let me guess. A guy sent you that message hoping to get brownie points with you. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I, are you in a, a relationship, Allie? Nope. Okay, so she's single. That's even more dangerously. <laughs> Way no, more okay, dangerous. Now, to, now read the comments in the YouTube when this goes up online. So. Oh my God! Yeah, you're gonna, Allie. You're gonna have to. Your what's your Instagram? That's Ali dot and then a little dash priest. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pull it up right now. She's gonna get like a million followers after this show goes up now, Lee. Because this that, show's gonna get like fifty thousand hits. She'll have double the following, triple the following. Oh. What do you have right triple now? The triple the following and thousands of dick pics. That's all it's gonna That's <laughs> be. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Something to look forward to. Oh yeah, exactly, exactly. What Just what, what she wants to Ali? see. See, Ali knows that the people in the gym industry, because she's been around the fitness expos and stuff, and she's dated people in the fitness industry, and she agrees with me. The guys are more feminine than what she is, I tell you. Fucking hell. <laughs> Sometimes she'll, she's been with a couple of guys, and I look at him and I just go, oh, my God, is that a man or what? Is uh, that a fucking boy? You, you, you like dating regular guys, or do you like to date guys that work out? Um, like, I guess with my lifestyle and because the gym is such a big part, um, you know, they have to be active and fit. Like, I'm not going to date someone who has no interest in anything um, fitness, but they don't have to be a gym junkie by any means. As long as they like to stay active and healthy, then that's it, really. Can I have a you know, I'm looking at her pictures <laughs> for the first time right now. I, I, I never looked at your page. She's got a good, phys oh, she's she got good lead priest genetics there. I see them. Same abs. It was a, it was a, <clears throat> I remember she was dating this guy once, and I, I swear to God, it probably took him longer in the bathroom to do his hair than what it took Ali to do her hair. He had his hair fucking like this in the perfect fucking thing, and oh, my God. Well, you always had the white hair. Come on, you always did your hair up pretty nice. Yeah, but I just comb it like that, and it's done. These are the ones that I'm talking about where it goes this way, and it stands up perfectly. <laughs> like, I got the blow dryer doing this sort of shit, and, <clears throat> you know, it's like, you know, I might get some face work done, but these guys, I think, they're actually wearing makeup. It's like they got fucking powder and shit on their face and stuff. And I said the last expo I was at, I had to laugh when I told you before, Dave, that the guys taking a photo with Ali were doing the whole. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I think to myself, what are you thinking when you see that, Ali? Are you thinking, man, this is a man's man, or what? <laughs> or he can carry my purse. <laughs> It, it's sad, but the men, what are the men's physique guys supposed to do? I mean, they, 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 there's nothing they can do, you know? Stand there and look like a fucking man. That's what I, they I said <laughs> they should at least let these guys hit one freaking double bicep pose or something like that during their routine. But this ain't, we're not talking about on stage. We're talking about just when they come and have a photo. Well, they're, they're, they're duplicating what they do on stage. That's, that's, you know, it's, that's what's in their head. Uh, but you let me see that move again. Let me see your hand movement again. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> you got to get at least three twirls in it, otherwise. Yeah, you got to get the the, the the triple, the triple. I can do it both. Kind of good at it. You, well, you actually do that, Dave. When you do, I do that anyway. I got the big hands, right? Yeah, I got the floppy hands. You know, Lee, you'd love this. Fucking I um I ordered shoes from Nike. You know, I wear a size 15. I have a big foot, and they delivered mm -hmm. these shoes, and I had them up on the counter, and my wife's like, "What are they?" What are you, what are you bad you join, luck. What did you join, the circus? I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, they, and then I noticed, I'm like, yeah, these shoes look really big. I mean, I have big feet anyway. These look like Shaquille O'Neal feet. So I take the sneaker and I put it up against mine. And they're both size 15s. And one is like, is like three inches bigger than the other one. So I don't know if Nike made a mistake or someone told Nike, send Palumbo the, the oversized ones. He's got big feet, you know, as a joke. Yeah. But I got, I think, I got I the wrong like size they, shoes. It's like, they, it's like they do that for men now. It's like, you know men's shirts when they make the shirts they just put you know four x in a shirt which is really a large it just makes you feel just to make bigger, you feel bigger so yeah it's, it's like it's like my kids my daughter's uh, a, a two months old and she's wearing like you know three-year-old clothes already they i think they do that so parents can say my six month old wears three t3 you know three t sh uh, shirts you know <laughs> at what age are you gonna let your little girl start wearing crop tops in the daisy dukes <laughs> You know what, Lee? You know this better than I do. We have no control over what our kids do. We can only guide them and, and, and give them advice and, and pray that they, uh, that they listen. You know? I, like, I, like, I like the way Dave says guide them. Could you imagine me guiding Allie? I think she guides you. She's probably way more mature than you are, I'm sure. What, what do you mean by that, Dave? <laughs> 
Allie, do you have any tattoos? I have two. What? Well, how old are you when you got them? Um, I was 18 when I got my first one, yeah. and oh, 21, 22 when I got my second. Uh, did you did you have a nervous breakdown, Lee, when you start saw the first tattoo come? Because you know, once you get one, sometimes it could lead to a lot, like you have, you know. I just said that's it. It's not really that big. Why didn't you get a big one? <laughs> I think I think it was some writing, isn't it? And I said, well, I can't even fucking read it. It's so small. That's yeah, they're only little that. ones. Don't at get any on your face, face, Allie. Please, just do I've us a favor. Know. At least, at least if you get tattoos, you gotta have it big enough so you can read. You don't want people coming up going, "What's that say right there?" Lee, now, what's with the hole in your eye, Lee? How come they they can't keep that eye closed? I can think just the skin's really thin on the eyelid and stuff but also like you said whatever stitches he used he had to look at it again he just said my body was rejecting that type of whatever material it was made out i think he tried cat gut one time and then some other stitch and then this time a different i heard him say the name of it but i said if it rips open again we're just going for the fucking glue i reckon so i was <laughs> gonna say steve blackman probably has some glue he can put on there for you oh, i'm sure he does but that that just makes your eye red like pink eye <laughs> <laughs> Don't you laugh, Ali. You should know what we're talking about. Earmuffs. Ali, earmuffs. Earmuffs. <laughs> earmuffs. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> hey, well, I want to congratulate you, Ali, on the uh, the big win, the pro card. And, uh, you know, I wish you the best in the future. Hopefully you'll make it to Worlds next year. And uh, this guy, Lee Priest, can uh, show up there with you. And uh, maybe we'll send a camera crew there to film you guys. But uh, congratulations. And thank you for taking time. I know it's early morning there. You still got to go to work. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. It was a, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Did uh, my pleasure. <laughs> and, my uh, I guarantee you, you, I'm going to make a guarantee right here. I see she's got 23,000 followers on Instagram. I bet you she's got double that by this time next week, Lee. Next time she's got to be more open like me and say, thanks, David, you cunt and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, she's trying to actually be proper. That's good. She's, she's oh, look, I had to do like, you know, first impressions. I'll be nice. <laughs> Can you imitate it's your Dave. father? It's, it's Dave. It's do you Dave. do an, a Lee so Priest off. impression at all? Can I? Yeah. Um, I don't know. No. <laughs> it's, pretty e it's pretty easy. Just look at Dave and go, you can't. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Allie. Lee, as always, we love you. Thanks a lot. I'm glad your eye is doing better now. And we will be back next week. Raging like we always are. I'm Dave Palumbo for Lee Priest and Allie Trappell. See you next time.